Hello, and welcome to a very short, late, and special edition of Chesty 42's highlights of the RBX season. Here we are in the garage at Canada, roughly around about, oh, around about four weeks after the race actually took place here. It's been a while, a lot of controversy at the end of it, and certainly a very interesting race from my point of view, so we'll just go straight ahead to the start of the race. So starting from pole position, after a very close qualifying session, only just slightly less than a tenth ahead of Dubsy, as we wait for the lights to go out to begin this Grand Prix. And we're away. Half decent start there, not too bad. Slowly pulling away from Dubsy as I try to cover him off at the first, first two corners. Bit wide there through the second. As we exit out, plenty of traction there. As I go slightly wide through, I think it's turn five on the first lap still. Dubsy's Mercedes just powers straight past me right here, alongside and straight through. Not really much I could do there. Dubsy goes into the wall, wall of champions at the end of turn, lap one, sorry. I try to have a look around the inside, down the inside of him. But he just breaks that fraction later than me, holds the inside line. I try to keep it tight to him. Can't really do anything about that. Safety car's out. Zampli has crashed on the second lap. And we've just restarted here on this lap, lap five. And Dregler has just flown straight past me there. A little bit of mistake of the uh, Wall of Champions. And we pit now on lap nine. The harder compound attire. He's looking at HSV now in fifth place. Trying to cut past him. Trying to get ourselves back in the head as we found out. I'm having a look at Dregler right behind me there. Slip back between the pit stops. As he squeezes me up. I stay in fourth gear for a really long time. Lose a bit of speed. Onto the grass. Force there. Being blocked out by HS. End up wide at the next corner. Have a little bit of a lock up. And there's a bit of contact there. After the lock up. But I managed to keep it on. In a straight line and on the circuit, get through there. A little bit slightly through the final chicane, and Dregler with the DRS just flies past me. Absolutely nothing I could do there to defend from that. Lap 14 now, and Jack and Potato squeeze me as well. Everyone's squeezing me, feeling like a feeling like a lemon at the moment. Squeezed again. <laughs> Just a little bit from Dubsy after he rejoins the circuit. Chaotic first half to the race, and another safety car. I think that was from Sh uh, Shervo Jones causing that one. Third place it appears, fourth place, no sorry. As we restart the race on lap 22. Jack Mateo just blocking both sides. Trying to have a look around him here. Looks like we're matching pace absolutely perfectly. We're probably at the exact same speed as he's just on the inside line though. So it's going to make it hard to pass here as he just creeps ahead. So we go through the final turn. Yet again, in a similar situation, Jack of Potato just defending that line. Forcing me wide. Having to pull out of it. And work my way up again. Get pretty deep into there. Jack of Potato, a bit of a lag bubble there. Causing the slide and makes me... Have to go wide and make sure I don't pass him so I don't get a penalty. And Cart Dude capitalizes on this, gives me a bit of a touch. <laughs> Unsettles my car and goes straight down the inside. A little dirty there from Cart Dude, but not too bad really. All's fair racing. As I smash into the wall of champions. And we've moved ahead to lap 30 and it's starting to rain. Made the call to go onto the inters on this lap. Crucial call. See if it works. P6 at the moment, and I nearly clean up Cart Dude as he pulls us aside. And I choose to go for the wet tyres with only two laps to go in this Grand Prix. Absolutely incredible stuff unfolding right before us. As we pass Kid Buys in the pits, and I think we'll pass we'll pass Jack of Potato and slot in behind Mighty Murph. Fifth place at the moment with only two laps to go. Everyone else in front of me and Murph are on the enters. Set C if we can catch them and capitalize on those positions. 
And here we are, the final corner, uh, sorry, not the final corner, the, it's the last hairpin, the circuit, and we slide past, I think it's Dubsy and, uh, I'm not sure who the other driver was. And now up into third place, Mighty Merv closing in on Dregler up ahead, with only one more corner to go. Where will we end up at the end of this? Light in. I turn in a little early, and it slides into the wall of champions. I've crashed straight into it. I've lost a few positions there. Fifth place, sixth now. And then try and get out of the way of Kartu as he slides past in seventh place now. A horrendous end. What could have been a second place finish. But due to some penalties, end up in fourth place. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to see any more Race League videos. I will bring you all the action from Silverstone really soon, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you later.